Hey everybody, welcome to the Mark Barn Podcast. You know, something that's been on my mind, you know, since I'm a huge Linux supporter, user, like, I love Linux. And I think um, more Republicans need to start uh, using Linux, you know, doing some research, contributing. I think the open source community needs, uh, you know, more Republicans to come on board, more conservatives, because... You know, you're out here supporting companies like Apple and all of these other companies, Windows, and nothing wrong about it. I mean, everybody has, you know, their own choice. But, you know, if you're a person that values freedom and free speech and things like that, I think it's time to start supporting some alternatives. I mean, the greatest thing to happen to me was for my Apple uh, laptop, it broke. I didn't feel like fixing it. I didn't really have the money at the time. And so I had an Apple laptop. I let that go back when I didn't have any money. And then I got a Chromebook and it, the Chromebook worked well, but, you know, it didn't have some, you know, power as far as, you know, the RAM and stuff like that. I had to get upgrades and things like that. I didn't feel like doing that. And so I was looking through eBay. I was looking through, you know, YouTube and social media. And I was saying, well, what would be the alternative? And one thing that I saw, I said, well, wait a minute. Some of these uh, people, they're getting uh, ThinkPads for cheap prices. I got mine for like $180, and they're just installing Linux, and it was the best thing to happen to me. I think my Apple computer, me not having the money to fix it, really was one of the greatest things that happened to me in my life because it really got me into Linux and realizing that you don't need to pay for all this expensive software. You don't need the latest and greatest MacBook that's going to cost you thousands. You can easily just get a ThinkPad that's you know, 10 years old, and it'll do the trick. And uh, again, I have my ThinkPad. I got it for cheap on eBay. eBay has some very good prices, and, you know, it's been working ever since. I mean, it has a great design. I mean, I love the MacBooks. They're tough, and they're easy to repair, at least the one I have. I have a, I mean, not, not my bad, not the MacBooks, ThinkPads. The ThinkPad I have is um, uh, ThinkPad T420. It's easy to repair. I put uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM and it's been amazing so far and it's cheap. And so I would just tell anybody that, you know, start, you know, doing your research, start looking at Linux. You know, you can use, if you're a beginner, Ubuntu, Ubuntu, I know I'm probably saying it the wrong way, but you can use some beginner Linux uh, distros out there that will, you know, do the trick. And then once you start learning Linux, also, you know, support the different uh, Linux developers and stuff like that. They're doing a lot of really cool things and, um, you know, you won't regret it. And it, you, it, it'll open your mind up because a lot of times we think with a computer, you have to get a Windows-based computer or an Apple computer. And you don't have to. I mean, there's a choice and there's a lot of cool programs. There's a lot of cool um, safety features and different things like that. And so I would just say to any Republican or conservative, Start looking at some alternatives because some of these big tech companies that you keep on spending money with, they're the companies that use that money that you're spending, you know, in when you're buying computers and things like that. They're using that money against you to censor you or to, you know, come up with ideas to, you know, change elections and things like that. And so I, I, I would tell anybody, start supporting independent developers and the Linux community that really... You know, they're, they're doing amazing, amazing things. I mean, from top to bottom, what some of these people are doing on their you know, spare time is phenomenal. And um, with the Linux, you're not locked into having to be locked into a system where you have to have all these uh, user passwords and things like that. Like if you notice with Windows and uh, Apple, they always try to lock you into having to sign up for this or having to use this password you created to open up your computer and get a bunch of apps and things like that. And so, you know, it's just really, Linux is just about freedom and a lot of cool things are happening. And the cool thing about the uh, open source community is that everybody gets to contribute and it's actually safer to use open source software because more eyes are on the code. Like if you notice with Apple or Windows, you know, it's only up to the developers and people that work with those companies to create things. With Linux, I mean, you can take, you know, the code and look at it and, you know, make your own, you know, web browsers and just it's amazing what you can do. So I know I'm rambling, but 
I want more Republicans, more conservatives, people who are into freedom to start supporting Linux. At least, you know, put, you put you Ubuntu on your computer. I know I'm pronouncing it the wrong way. And just do some research. And then also, I mean, support some of the developers. Support some of the people that are spending their time creating different things. I mean, some people have a little, you know, thing where you can donate and things like that. And it's, it's worth it because... In the end, I mean, you're getting something that is an alternative to big tech. So in the comment section, let me know how you feel. I know I'm rambling, but I'm really passionate about Linux. And um, I guarantee you, once you start installing Linux and do some research, you won't be disappointed. I mean, the stuff that the people in the Linux community, the things they're creating, it's amazing to me. So thank you.